people. These are things that are done. You can pay the money, you track the money. This infrastructure is there. For the army, they know the area. They've been at this war for nine years. They can't, I mean, you can't tell me that if that, that uh, okay, Boko Haram is doing this. So IPOB or OPC or some other group can also start something like this and the army are not able to deal because that's what they are telling the country. Does, does the legislature yeah. have a role to play? Yeah, they have a role because they are the one that helps in the release of funding. They are the one that help in legislating. Sometimes the laws can shackle the hands of these military forces. So sometimes they can look at the situation and decide to give the military emergency powers to do certain things. What's your response? I, I just want to add this, you know, uh, um, you see negotiations with terrorists in the field, uh, which in most cases are done through third parties, uh, in mo uh, and in several cases, if not all cases, have nothing to do with bank transactions. So in most cases, you cannot track them. If they demand for $5 million, in most cases, they are ready to collect it by Ghana must go because they know that any bank transaction is to be tracked. So physically, they collect whatever they want from you. And so you are ready physically. To so you cannot collect. track you these track things. the people that come to collect. No, in most, that's why in most cases, intermediaries yeah. are used. You just track the people that have come to collect. Yes. Isn't that Wh a Whoever point? comes to collect the money must know the okay. people is collecting Excuse the money for. Excuse you track me. Can we, can we cite an example now? Or can we just paint a small scenario? You use an NGO. I don't, I don't want to mention any name. If you use an NGO <laughs> operating in the field to do the negotiations for yes. you and mm -hmm. collect such a ransom yes. to pass it on to them. These NGOs don't want to be involved in anything maybe you don't know. We've met to them in the field, for instance, you run across or you come across, let's say the ICRC or, ICRC or whatever, they can never give you any information. They are there to do their job, play their neutral role, and get away. So, so if you are expecting him to want to trap or track somebody for you, that is not his job. Okay. His job is to see that he saves the life of that individual and brings him back to you. Let's go on a short uh, break successfully. again. We'll go on a short break. Uh, you have a chance to respond. No uh, and then we'll be back after these messages. Join us again. Welcome back. Mr. Mock, do you think that this government will be able to save the Asharubu? I wish, I pray they should. I think they can save Lea. I think they can save Lea. You see, Lea's case is even a special case because Lea was kidnapped with a hundred and something others. The others, the government negotiated with the kidnappers and they released, say, 99% or 99.9% .9 of those kidnapped, leaving just one. You know those you negotiated with, whatever the terms you gave by which the others were released. It's so easier, much easier for me to deal with the matter of Leah because she was kidnapped with other people. Those people have been released. You yourself said you negotiated with those people and they, out of good faith, released the others. While others said you paid, whether you paid or you did not pay, you negotiated with the right people and they released all of this. Only one person is left. There's no reason why that one person should still be in that place this long. Even just the good faith that you negotiated and you met their great terms, they should have released Leah. So if they don't get Leah released, it is still, as far as I'm concerned, you, see, you, know, you know my position. I hold this government responsible. They are not doing enough as far as I'm concerned. For me, the key thing is the Chibo girls. A hundred and something Nigerian young children are still missing five years after. We're not even, it's not in the discourse. It's not in the discourse. We're negotiating with uh, Boko Haram for Leah. Hundred and something Leahs are missing. Hundred and something Leahs, hundred and something parents. Even the Chibo girls that have been released, you already have those released. You have the Chibo girls released. Who know where they were taken? Who can tell you where the others are being taken on who is holding the others? I mean, please, let's, let's hold this government accountable. This is our elected government. These are our citizens. No matter the intricacies of this, no matter the intricacies of this, 
there must be a way you've gotten some release there with you those people are evidential people you can use you also have arrested members of this you have those negotiating for them uh, uh, Khan, yes I, is there light at the end of the tunnel do you think with regards to leah sharabo and the other aid worker i would say there is however difficult it is i am someone who is ever you know uh, uh how do we put it now? optimistic optimistic right okay uh, well, and what is the difficulty on ground let's start with the hundred girls still waiting the dapchi girls the chuba uh, girls the chuba girls yeah. sorry as we speak now it's really unfortunate some of this information i know in the public layer, uh, in the public domain sorry as we speak now some have been married off some have been uh, 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 they are in the hands of different factions within Boko Haram, okay? And with the emergence of the new leadership we have now in Boko Haram, El Barani, with his own mentality which he's coming on board with, how radical he, he, he is on ground, it makes things somewhat difficult. The guys whom we negotiated the first release with... Can we get him? Who? El Banawi? Yes. Can we get him? Uh, well, <laughs> if he makes himself available. No, can the army get him? You mean to, 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 to pick him up? Yes, just like the United States picked Osama bin Laden. It's with time. I believe the army has the capacity to do it, but the army might be lacking in some of those deficiencies I mentioned. I think that's a good place to let it rest. Okay. Um, Colonel Hassan Stan Lambo, a security analyst as well as Emmanuel Mark, the former chairman of the National Transformation Party. I must thank both of you gentlemen for talking to us on Sunrise Daily. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how the show has been from Lagos. I am Gimba Omar, and it's goodbye. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one. I'm Chamberlain Usa. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions, and endorsement of Channels Television.